All right, I am getting word that we are all set up for Tome 100%. So without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Steve TV Online. Take it away. Hello, everyone. My name is Steve TV Online, and I'm going to be showing off Tome 100%. Now, you'll see that this game has a little bit interesting aesthetic. Um, it's all in black and white. I'm wearing all black and white for this entire run. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy my black and white. Um, I am staying in this screen just to show we are resetting all in-game achievements. They put this in here. Um, I created a game is really awesome in doing that. And we are not going to be jumping to the post game. Oh, the post game is Basto Island. Um, if you want to see Basto percent, I would suggest uh, start uh, uh, donating right now. I think it's only at $50 if I remember correctly and you really want to see it because it's a free DLC that they added on after the game was done because they didn't realize that this game was going to be as much a hit. Um, so I'm going to hit yes right now. I'm going to start the adventure. The timing does not start right away. That's why I'm going into it. The timing starts the second that I leave the uh, bed here. And when I hit A in 3, two, one, go. So we're going to pick up our backpack to start off right away. Then we're going to go and we're going to talk to, uh, to Granny here. And she's going to she's going to say um, that she wants us to go on, on an experience to experience Tome. We don't know what Tome is just yet. She just shows us a picture of it. And then uh, if you don't know what Tome is, this is a picture adventure game, basically. So uh, we're going to show Granny her picture. And then we are going to, uh, she's going to walk away, and then we're going to go out and we're going to talk to her. Okay, the achievements are working. That's good. Um, I just, I just practiced a run, and the achievements were not working for some reason. We're going to say yes, we're ready to start. And then we're going to, um, start taking pictures of animals. Well, I can't get that potato. Uh, there we go, potato. We're going to get the cow. And then if we do this correctly, oh, we're not going to be able to- Oh, we did! There's no way, okay. So we got both the birds and the, uh, house in the same picture. Um, and then we're gonna wear these clogs, we're gonna, uh, walk for just a second, then we're going to take the clogs back off. We're also gonna take a picture of these flies, so I don't forget them. There we go. And then we're gonna talk to this guy. Uh, he says, oh, why don't you find the clogs? Oh, wait, you already found the clogs? Oh, okay. Well, you know that picture that we took of Granny? Well, we just showed her the same picture. Because she wanted to see just a picture, so it just saves a little bit of time of us having to take one more picture. Then we're going to be leaving Homelandia, and we're going to be going to Oakland. Um, yeah, this, this game is really fast-paced, even though it's like there's no skips involved with this and doing 100%. It's it's a wild experience, and it's super fun to play. So, uh, going into Oakleville, I'm going to be taking this routing a little bit different. Uh, the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking a picture of the butterflies. I got it good. Um, take a picture of the snail. Oops. And then we're going to be going over here. Hopefully, okay, the birds didn't fly away. That's good. Let's take a picture of the birds, the stag beetle the uh, nest worm and of Tom. So now we're gonna go into here. We're gonna take a picture of that horse. We're gonna take a picture of uh, Oscar. And then we're going to look up here. This is a picture, uh, like a secret picture of the the creators of the game. Um, and all the animals that you're gonna be seeing me take a picture of are actually, um, they were actually uh, the uh, pets of the creators of the game. Ooh, that was actually really good. I got that right away. Um, I got the squirrel and that both. Though that is a secret that we're going to be... Uh, we need all these secrets to do stuff, so we're gonna take a picture of that, we're gonna take a picture of that, and then we're gonna run over here. And we're going to get this cowboy hat. Um, the reason that I'm collecting all these items to wear is because we need to wear every item at least once. It doesn't matter for how long. Um, and now we're going on to, uh, I took a picture, I promise you, that was important. And we're also coming up onto one of my favorite lines. Uh, this kid right here in the middle, he says, but I was closing my eyes, how could you see me? And it's just one of my favorite lines in the entire game. 
So now we just have to find all the people, but I mean, they're hiding so good though. How could anybody not find them, right? I just want to jump in and say that earlier you were correct in saying that the Basto percent is a $50 incentive, but we've also just opened an incentive for Rack and Slay. This is the difficulty 10 upgrade in which uh, our runner Satan herself will perform her run on difficulty 10, resulting in more challenging layouts and enemies and special enemies and reducing the player's maximum health. This incentive closes at the start of tonight's Rack and Slay run, which is a couple runs after this one. And that is also $50. All right, so this is this is an important thing in the game. Um, if you get soft locked, which I accidentally did recently, uh, practicing for this game, um, you can do um help. I I am stuck. Um, but this is also important here. But um, it brings you back to the very beginning of the game, and we're going to be using that quite a bit. But also, if you have anything to read at this moment, this is a perfect time because I have to be doing this, uh, the, um, cup game, uh, multiple times right now. Yeah, I got, I got something else to add. Um, since we're on the topic of incentives, I think it should also be mentioned that when you make your donation to Girls Make Games by typing exclamation point donate in the chat, you not only are able to contribute to an incentive, but you can also participate in bid wars simultaneously. We have a bid war open right now for our Love 3 run that determine the style of trace that will follow the player character. Our four options include the Rainbow Pride Flag, Trans Pride Flag, Bi Pride Flag, and Non-Binary Pride Flag. So make your voice heard with your donation soon because this bid war closes at the start of our Love 3 run after Toem, after this run right now. So that was actually really bad RNG. So um, you can sometimes get it to where you can just stand there and just hit the button over and over again and be in the same spot. Um, but for some reason, it just brought me back and forth. And that also brings up a theory. So this is a 100% run. However, for some reason on the council, which I'm playing on, um, it will not give me the 1,000 steps uh, achievement. And the creators know about this. They've tried everything, every every step of the way to try and figure out why it will it will not work for me. However, um, because of that, um, we call this the wet sock theory, which isn't true, but it's funny to me. It's called the wet sock theory, where they believe that if you're wearing the wet sock, um, then it won't give you the amount of steps that you should by the end of the run. However, it's not true. So it's just always been called the wet sock theory from now on. <laughs> All right, so now we have to go up here. Um, so I'm taking specific pictures to, uh, to work later on in the run. So I took a picture of, um, the... Oops, I need to step farther forward. Um, I took a picture of a tree, a rock, and that axe. And that will work right in our favor right here. We're going to talk to this guy. He wants a picture of a rock, a tree, and an axe. Perfect. That gives us the tripod, which we'll, we will be using exactly one time throughout the entire game. So, uh, this guy is telling us about, uh, a, um, a mysterious stranger that is uh, lurking about, and we need to get pictures of him so they can finally apprehend him. Um, so I want everybody in the chat, or in donations, to say who you think the mysterious stranger is throughout all all of this game that you've been that you're going to about you're about to see i want everybody to figure out who the mysterious stranger is that's that's the goal um i have so my own theory i have uh, other incentives the fellow uh has got that got that big trench coat on right and it yes. reminds me of well, i don't know well, if you've ever played from what, from yeah, what yeah. you could see you can't really see it in that picture but uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes he has a he has a trench coat on yeah, and it reminded me of, I don't know if you've ever played, the, there's a Jack's Box game called Fakin' It. I'm not sure if you've played it or heard of it, but in that game, uh, one player is designated as the Faker, and the Faker looks very similar to that with the whole hat and trench coat looking 
going on. So uh, I think this is actually a Jackbox crossover is what I'm trying to say. I, I'm telling you, I love faking it. That's one of my favorite Jackbox games of all times. So It's definitely a fun one. It's a great one to play when you're in person with your friends. So I'm telling everybody also to be a nice person. Um, we're going to be talking to this bird right here and they're feeling really depressed. Um, but we're going to be cheering them up and saying, you know what, and he, they're going to say, you know what, I am a good cook. So just be a nice person, because you never know how people are feeling. Just saying one thing to them will cheer them up. So now we're going to be going back to these, uh, to these scouts, and we're going to be showing them pictures of, uh, of mushrooms that we found and that's why i was taking specific pictures here we're going to be going back here and we're going to be showing that we're going to be showing uh that and we're going to be showing that so now we got all those and now we can have the hat we're going to be going down And we are going to be going in here. We're going to be talking to the hotel chef again. And you're going to see once we're leaving this place that we're going to have two left over. Um, we will be coming back to here with a very important, uh, a couple of very important missions that I can't wait to show off. Okay, so help, I can't move, and now we're going to be talking over to this guy, and he is going to say, yep, you're complete, you can go on to a new area. So we're going to go over to Stanum, which is the next area, and um, there is an ex exclusive mission that is in here that is included with the council that isn't involved with the PC. I'm going to make sure I get this guy, get that, get the seagull and get the potato swim then we're going to go over this way um then we're going to get this cat ferret we're going to make sure we get the swan and then we're going to talk to this guy and he's and he's looking for some music to sing i'm hope i got that yes got it got it let's go okay cool that's really important really really important that we got that. So now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do the exclusive mission that's involved with the council for 100%. So we're gonna go in, we're going to go over here and we're going to uh, put on the fish eye. We are going to take a picture, yes, and then we're gonna take it off. We're gonna go to our album. We are going to go into here and we are going to name it Y. That is gonna be very important later on. And now we're going to say, hey, look at that funny filter. So now we're going to go down here, and we are going to go over this way. We are going to take a picture right there of that fly, and then we're going to take a picture of the toad. Um, then we're going to go over here. We're going to take a picture out of here. We're going to take a picture over there of the ice cream. We're going to take a picture of that over there that will clear up this area for this guy to sunbathe. And then we have a couple more pictures that we have to take for uh, somebody here. We're going to take a picture of us being a farmer. I promise we were a farmer. And we're going to run all the way over here in this corner. We're going to zoom in. We're going to take a picture of that crab. We're going to zoom out, take a picture of the sand, take a picture of a of a um, shy uh, hippo. And then we're going to go into here and we are going to get another important item. But if you have any thing that you want to read off this is like a perfect time because it's kind of boring i'm just taking pictures and going in specific order to save folks yeah no problem uh i suppose i could just take this moment to keep everybody informed on the, our charity of choice this season uh the girls make games scholarship fund Girls Make Games was founded in order to provide girls with the space and resources to explore the world of gaming and help them pursue careers in game development Girls Make Games has helped their alumni go on to graduate high school, college, and land jobs in the gaming industry and wider STEAM fields. With help through your donations, 
by typing exclamation point donate in the chat. The Girls Make Games Scholarship Fund will give women and girls the support they need to reach their fullest potential. Thank you so much. These both are always going to be in the same order every single time, so that's why I'm able to like go over to them right away. Um, and then this is going to give us the horn, which is actually kind of important coming up. Um, because it will allow for us to, uh, get to all the rest of the areas in the game. Um, so right here we're just going to honk at the seagulls we're going to go through. And then we're going to go up here take a picture of another one. William. Then we're going to... I hate that. Uh, then we're going to uh, do the trick, the fisherman's whistle, which was what we got from that one guy. And then we're going to listen to the most important song of the entire game. This is by Launchable Fox. Just listen. Best song in the entire game. It's called Launchable Talk, which is the the music maker for the entire game, and it's fantastic. Then we need to take a picture of the kingfish. We're gonna go back, and then we're gonna honk the horn, uh, take a picture of her jumping. We're going to then go over here. We are going to talk to him. He wants to see the kingfish, so we're going to show him the kingfish. Then we're gonna go over here. Oops. We're going to honk the horn. There we go. Over here. Yeah, I want to go over. And now we're going to another one of my favorite mentions of the entire game. Um, I, It just makes me smile every time for some reason. Um, So we're going to go up here and we're going to uh, first knock this guy into the water by uh, honking at him. Then we're going to grab the hard hat. And then we're going to go up here. This guy has been employee of the week forever. We're going to frame a picture, and our picture that we are going to take is of us being the farmer. He's no longer the employee of the month. Then we're going to go over here, and we are going to talk to these people, and they're uh, to this person, and they're going to say, Hey, there's something wrong with our, our stuff. Can you uh, let us know what's wrong? Well, first, the light is not on. Then there's a broken uh, pipe, but there's also a rubber ducky down there, and they're like, eh, No, actually, that rubber ducky belongs there. We just put him in there. But then there's a loose screw, there is something jamming up the gears, and then there's another broken wire. So now we have everything fixed, and that will also allow for us to go to other places. Um, but before we go to other places and the bridge drops down, we have to do a couple more things while we're in here. And the first one is to take a picture, hopefully, of this... Oh, nice, beautiful, thank you. That the dragonfly just doesn't like to work with us sometimes. Then we're going to go down here, and he says, actually, that was kind of fun. The guy that we knocked into the water is going to say that was kind of fun. Oops. Um, these ramps are, like, like, miserable. <laughs> so we're going to go over here and we're going to talk to this person and they want a picture of us being a farmer. So that same picture that we used for the employee of the month, we are also going to be using right there. That's going to allow for us to get another one. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to take a picture right there of the sun because they want a picture of this goat wants a picture of the orb. Of the N orb, sorry, not the orb, but N orb. Scorching flame, there we go. Then we're gonna go up here and we are going to uh, make sure that it counts. Where is it at? There it is, hopefully. Nope, okay. There? There we go, perfect. The suspicious activity. Sometimes it just doesn't want to count, even though they're like clearly on screen. So we're gonna take a picture of this fancy bird, the seagull. And then I want to say to everybody, please clean up the environment. This is, like, nasty with all the garbage on in the water. So we're going to clean up some water, and this would be another perfect time for donations to be read if we have any. Yeah, I just want to mention again, now that we've gotten a little bit into the run, that if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, you can see more of it. If we reach our incentive of $50 for Basto Percent, where we will take a look at the Basto DLC Island after the conclusion of this run. And as well as that, we also have our incentive for Rack and Slay later tonight, the difficulty 10 upgrade. And when you make a donation to one of those targets, you can also 
put that money towards our bid war for the Love 3 Trace flag colors, either being the Rainbow Pride flag, Trans Pride flag, Bi Pride flag, or Non-Binary Pride flag. You can put money towards that at the same time as an incentive for Basto Percent or the Difficulty 10 Upgrade and Rack and Slay, so make sure to get those donations in. Alright, so right now, I did get a picture of the swan, right? I don't think so, I'm just leaving it. <laughs> so now we're going to go over here and we are going to do a couple things. We're going to honk there, we're going to take the Supreme Deluxe Sandwich, we're going to honk over here, and then they want to trade a paper... Or they want it they want a pirate hat they're gonna trade a pirate hat for a paper hat which is fine then we're gonna go over here and we are going to um uh they want the ice cream they want sand or a shy hippo and they want the sand perfect wait what no what am i missing what did they not like the sand okay that's fine that's one thing about this game. It's just you never know if it'll work or not. There we go. That's fine. Then we're going to go over here and we are going to uh, pet the doggo. Such a good doggo. We're going to go down here and talk to this guy. And now he's really happy that we um, cleared out the, the, the area for him. And then, this is the one thing that the uh, creators of the game wanted me to let you guys know that it, it, the dog can actually wear a, uh, a scuba mask. Like, I've asked them, what do you want us, what do you want people to know about this game? And they're like, the dog can wear a scuba mask? And I was like, oh, okay, anything else? They're like, no, we just want them to know that they can wear the scuba mask. I was like, oh, okay. Well, there you go. You saw the dog with the scuba mask. We're going to go back over, and unfortunately, we're going to turn the dog back in. The dog is not going to stay with us for the entire time. We're going to go over here. We're going to give the dog back to the owner. We are going to go back over this way, and we are going to uh, honk at, the, at this person again. We're going to trade the hat. We're going to put on the paper hat. Can't help, I can't move. Then one more time, we're going to go up this way, and we're going to talk to this person. And we are going to give the sandwich back over to the, um, to the ghost over here. And there we go. We have now turned in everything except for the, uh, except for one item that we'll have to come back for a little later on in the run. There we go. We are going to go to Log City, which is the longest area in the entire game well actually uh it, it's it's okay i mean um the first thing that we have to do though is we have to wait for this to come down so we can take this picture really quick there we go we're gonna go up and then we are gonna take a picture of the pigeon oh they were in a good spot that was good then we're gonna take a picture of hanging their buddy up here and over here. Oh, that was perfect. And then I'm going to take this in a different order than normal. I'm going to put on the hot bean hat. Then we're going to talk to this, this influencer. We have to wait until they look. Then we're going to talk to them. All right, perfect. That's number one. I don't need to pick the picture yet. Um, I will later. Uh, Tato bird. Then up here, this picture. And then I'm going to talk to this guy with the hot bean bro attack because he's really hungry and he likes the smell of it. And then we're going to get the most important uh, item in the entire game, which is the sneakers. This allows for us to run double the speed that we normally would. So now we're going to look down here, get another secret, uh, which will allow for Granny to go and uh, move her car. And I believe you can take a picture of Granny, but I've never tested it out and I don't want to because sometimes I get on really good runs and I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't want to. Test it out. So then we're gonna go into here and I'm going to go right now into here. We want a good picture of him. 
we start walking the wind. He's like, actually, I want to hire you. Then we're going to put the bean bro, uh, uh, hot bean hat back on. We're going to take a picture of the rat. No, we missed the rat. We still missed the rat. There we go. And we're going to go down here and we're going to take a picture of the cheese. Uh, we're going to go through here. Then we have a couple more things we have to do here. This guy is our mysterious cre uh, person. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to take a picture of this confused guy. This guy misses Oakleville, so I'm going to go back as far as I can to think about Oakleville. There we go. He misses it. Perfect. Um, this guy likes the, this guy. This turtle likes pizza. Um, I don't think that's a reference to anything, but maybe. There we go. Granny got a picture taken, and then we're gonna go. Oops, we're gonna go back up, and we are. Taking these pictures, uh, we're getting the last hot bean bros. Oops. Uh, then we're going to uh, put the reporter hat on. Set down the only time we're going to be using the um, tripod for that. That. And uh, I missed it. That's fine. That's fine. We need this picture. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Then we're going to specifically take a picture right there perfect we're going to use that for multiple pictures that picture that i just took so they're going to um they want us to take uh art or pictures of their art that they've shared around the place and that's what a lot of these pictures are that i uh took throughout and the last one right there oops That should be it. Perfect. So now we got that, and now we're going to help I can't move. We're going to go all the way over here, and this guy uh, wants a job of cleaning things, and since these people threw mud on, on us, we're going to tell him that it looks great, and we're going to get another stamp. Take a picture of him afterwards. Then we're going to go over this way. And make, make sure I remember this dog's name very well. His name is Portillo. Um, Portillo has ruined multiple runs for me. So I make sure that I go over to Portillo and take that picture right there. <laughs> okay, and this is where I need to take the picture. I told Dwink I told Dwinkleton to remind me, but I rem I remembered this time. Thank goodness. Okay, now uh, they lose their frisbee. There, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna uh, get another secret. This guy was stuck in the sewer, and that secret freed him from the sewer. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna take a picture, a picture of Business Pigeon. Then we're gonna go on this date with this uh, ghost. We're gonna say yes both times. And you know that picture that we took a long time ago, back a couple of areas ago, where we named it Y? Well, we're gonna be using that right here. We have to go over there and talk to that. And then we're gonna talk to this guy. And we have to show him the art piece that we did specifically. There's Y. And that's why there is a low percent for this game. There's actually a low percent for this game. So this person wants to see a confused person, which is right there. Perfect. Then we have to go over here and we are going to... This is why we have the business hat on. We're going to go up here. We're going to change our hat over to the fishing hat. Then they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I love that hat. And they're going to make everybody wear that fishing hat. So now if we have a second, I just, just want to say over. hello to the Raiders. Uh, just letting you know that we are here raising money for the Girls Make Games Scholarship Fund. And we are just under $100 away from the $1,500 mark. And if we 
reach both of the incentives that we have open right now. That's a cumulative $100 for both uh, the Toem Basto percent, the DLC island after this run, and the Rack and Slay difficulty 10 upgrade. If we reach both of those, then we will cross that threshold of the $1,500. So you can type exclamation point donate in the chat to get a link to put in your donation. Yeah, please do that, everyone. So now I have just had my date with the goat. Then we're going to show this guy the uh, mysterious stranger that was underneath the stairs. Then we're going to go back over this way and we are going to talk to this person. They want to see they want to see um, something ex like radical, uh, something radical. They want to see granny and they want to see um, somebody with si a picture with five or more people inside of it. So that's good. We're going to go down here now, and we are going to get the Frisbee. Oops. There we go. We're going to grab the Frisbee. We're going to go back over this way. Go up here. And then we're going to talk to this person who wants to see this, the fashion show. And they want to see a... um. An amazing mustache. Now they're gonna take our um, stuff away from us and help. I can't move. So now we're gonna go back up this way. We are going to talk to this person. Then we're gonna get our last animal in this area, which is Punky Parrot. Talk to the Hot Bean Bros guy. And last but not least, we are going to go over here, give the frisbee away, and this is actually the first area where we never have to come back to is Log City. It's the longest area in the entire game. Um, and now we can talk to this guy up here. And we can go down here, and we can go to uh, Kirenberg. And Kirenberg is actually one of my favorite areas. It's super, it's super fun, it's super funny. Uh, so what we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go up here and we were gonna take a picture of the dog animal. We're gonna turn around, take a picture of the goat, take a picture of the moon, and then we're just gonna stare at the goat for a reason you'll find out in a, just a little bit. Then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take a picture of these two animals, because I always forget about them. There we go. Then we're gonna go over this way and we are going to take a picture of the snowman and that back there then we're going to talk to this guy this guy can troll you hardcore because you have to take a picture of his uh snowball and you'll see the snowball once we get up to the top here um he, if you don't take it correctly you have to climb up not one but two again you have to go down and then back up so I make sure that I get this picture correctly. I zoom in a little bit. Then we're gonna go back down. We're gonna talk to him. It looks like we're good. Yep, we're good. Show him the picture. There we go. There's the snowball. Perfect, that's a snowball from when he was a kid. So now he's gonna give us a hat, which is important for this whole area, plus the uh, cosplayer. Um, uh, achievement. So now we're gonna go into, or now, well, that's fine. I was supposed to do, um, um, I'm stuck. Oops, I'm stuck thing. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different than everybody else does here. I'm gonna take a picture of the hedgehog from up here. That way I won't forget about him, because I have. Um, we're gonna go into here and we're gonna take a picture of the last animal. So, um, what is everybody's guess at this mysterious stranger? Because we're about to find out who this mysterious stranger is. Any, any guesses in chat? I'm locking in my guess. It's the Jackbox Faker. It's gotta be. It's the what? It's gotta be the Jackbox Faker. The Jackbox Faker? Well, to find out, it's actually two beavers on top of each other. I that was my second guess. <laughs> if anybody guessed, then you've played the game before, or... That was just an extremely lucky guess. You should buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. Okay, so I took that picture there. 
um, because we're going to be needing, I believe, six different pictures throughout this entire uh, area to show at the final area um, coming up. So now we're going to pass by that hedgehog. We're going to stay right here. We're going to take this picture right here because we, I don't see the other. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. We're, oops. We're going to go in here. We're going to take a picture as a Yeti. I promise you, I am a Yeti. Then we're going to go all the way over here and we're going to go into here to get ourselves a scarf. Which is in the next part of our outfit for this area. Then we're going to jump onto the, uh, the bat cycle again. That's fine. Um, you can hit that snow lift like perfectly where you jump onto it. We're going to get our last piece of the, uh, of the outfit. Then we're going to take a picture of that. We're going to stand over here. We're going to... Oh, we got it! Let's go. Okay, that Tato ski. Then we're going to get this next goat. We need three goats in total. Then we're going to take a picture of this fluff. Oops, missed him. There we go. That fluff ball. Take a picture right there. Then we're going to go around here because we need it for this next picture. Go all the way up here and into this area. We are. We need to do multiple pictures here. We need to take a picture of that, and then we need to take a picture like this. So the Tato and the um, the moon is in the picture. We don't have to talk to the to the astronaut. Instead, we're gonna go all the way up here. We're gonna look at this asteroid, and the second that it clears up all the way, we're gonna back out, and then we're gonna start heading down because that way it's automatic and we're up to her closer than we would be. Alright, so now we got that. We need to take a picture of an asteroid. We don't have a picture of an asteroid just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to start climbing down this way. We're going to go right here to take a picture of the owl. Oh, I think it's the owl picture. There we go. And then we're going to stand right about here. And get the last goat that we need. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to talk to this person. They want a picture of a Tower of Lights. Well, we took that when we were going into the, uh, uh, to see the beavers. All the way back down. Then we're gonna if we got a, a second. This right here. Go ahead. I'd just like to jump in and say that we've got $10 from Iggy Zig that says, I'm going to need that 1.5K, please. Let's go. And that is going to the Toem Basto percent to be completed after this run. Still looking to get to that $50 mark to unlock that incentive. I'm telling you right now, we're getting pretty close. This is the second to the last level before the, the run ends. So if you're looking at watching Basto percent after this, I would strongly suggest... Uh, getting to that 1500. What? Really? There we go. Oh, we can't move. We're gonna go back over to here. Oh, are you ready to say happy birthday? Chat. This is the balloon's birthday, so we're gonna say happy birthday to him. You ready? Happy birthday. There we go. Now we're going to go listen to the goats. If everybody's ready to listen to the goats. There we go. We listen to the goats. Don't they sound fantastic? Alright, so now we're going to talk to... Uh, we're going to talk to him. And we're going to go down here. And we're going to go to the last area of, of the game. But we're only going up there to take one picture. So, uh, yeah, it's if you have anything to read off right now, this would be a great time because I'm just climbing up and cleaning up stuff in other areas. Yeah, sure. I can just mention again that we are $40 away from the Basto percent for after this run. Uh, we are getting to the back end of this run now, so we might want to get those in soon if you want to see the Basto DLC Island. 
And then we still have the incentive open for Rack and Slay difficulty 10 upgrade as well. And in our bid war, we currently have the trans pride flag beating out the rainbow pride flag by about six dollars. Uh, so if you get your donations in now, you can tip the scales in your favor. Perfect timing. I have something fun here. I need everybody in chat to cheer on the snail. That includes you. You ready? Go snail, go! Go snail, go! 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 Go snail, go! Go snail, go! 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 Go, 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 go! Go snail, go! Go snail! Go snail! Let's go. He won. Oh, I'm gonna come back to that. That's like, what do I want to do right now? But yeah, uh, that's that's one of my favorite that's one of my favorite missions in the entire game. You just have to cheer on the snail. Um, when I originally when I originally played this, I waited the entire time for him instead of like doing the the um honking at him. Um, that was kind of fun too. Like just randomly just waiting for him. Um, so now we're getting the last mission in o Oklahoma. We have to um, show him all the all the monsters that we found throughout the area. Uh, that's why I've been taking specific pictures of specific things here. And our last one should be right here. What? What do you have left? Um, who are you missing? Locky? Okay. Well, um, we have a little bit of extra time. Uh, for some reason, Locky didn't count, so we are going to be going back to, uh, Stanum and grabbing that up while we do an extra mission. So, um, if you have a little bit of time, uh, you've seen Locky before, uh, <laughs> If you have a little bit of extra time and a little bit of extra stuff, I need to collect the last, well, the second to last now, uh, item, which is the flag, which would have been the last for cosplayer, and now we just need to go get Locky and then go back to there, so if you have anything, go ahead for it. Yeah, no problem. I just want to say, if you're watching this event and want to get involved in the next one, be on the lookout for news about No Holidays Allowed. This event is open to all kinds of speedruns and showcases that runners have to offer, not just glitchless runs. We're looking forward to showing off some amazing speedruns to watch as you bundle up by the campfire this winter. Still a little bit, uh, still a little bit more time. I still have to go back to Oakleville and turn it in, so... Sure, no problem. While we're on the topic of other events that we put on, I can also say that several members of the Completathon team also work on Staff for No Glitches Allowed, which is an event that features glitchless slash no major glitchless speedruns. This event typically takes place in the spring. Feel free to follow us here at twitch.tv slash no glitches allowed and at no glitches on Twitter, as well as joining our Discord for announcements so that you won't miss when our next Completathon event takes place. Thank you. And that could be every item collected, I believe, uh, for, like, wearable. We'll see in just a second. Yep, there we go. Cosplayer. That's good. We're going to go up here, and we are going to finish up here at Kyrieberg. Um, We have to take a picture of that creature. Then over here, take a picture of the asteroid. Go over here and show him where his snowman body is. Perfect. Then we're going to go up here, talk to this person, and we are going to... They want to see the moon, a balloon animal, and a snowman. All right, we go back up this way. Then we're going to go to the left, which we've never been to before. We freed this guy earlier from the ice, and he has his own house up here. So we're going to go into here, and we are going to uh, take our last secret picture. 
he, his um his fire is then gonna be lit, and then he's gonna be like, "Oh wait, I now know the secret. I know how to I know how to uh, summon a portal for you." So he's gonna go over this way, and he's going to go ha ba wa yay. Then we're gonna go into the portal, and we're gonna get our last animal that we need of the entire game of taking the pictures for, which is this beautiful deer right here. And that should be up. Yep, collect them all. There we go. Perfect. So now we're gonna go down here. We are going to go back up here. And we're gonna go up here, and this guy really loves fluffy things, so we're gonna show him a picture of Fluff Ball. Which we took earlier. Then we're gonna go over this way, and we're gonna talk to this guy. He wants a picture of the all of these things. We're gonna go to here, and then we're going to go blah, 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 here. Bye. Here. Bye. Here. Bye. Here. Bye. And one more. If I did this correctly. Nice. Let's go. Got everything there. It's 12 of 13. And we're gonna go all the way up here and go to the um, scientist. If you have one quick anything, you can go ahead and read it. Uh. Yeah, sure. Continue on the topic of our events, if you'd like to help with future events, we always host volunteer applications before our events. They typically run alongside submissions and are announced on our Discord and Twitter. Keep an eye on those if you're interested in running production, tweeting the tweets, or maybe even hosting live on the mic like I am right now. Even if you're just looking to volunteer for the first time, we would be happy to help you get your foot in the door. Beautiful. So that was the last mission of the entire game except for one. So this this one is, um, we're finally going to experience Toem. I know everybody has been looking forward to Toem. So we're going to be climbing up to the very top here, and, uh, yeah, super, super excited to see Tome. I hope everybody is. This is what the whole game is about. Once we see Tome is not the end, I will let you know when the end is. It's after we get our final stamp when we go back to Homelanda. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go right there. Steve, where'd you go? Where'd you go, Steve? Where am I going? So this is the only color in the game. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to... to show off some color at the very end of the run. Just for fun. So this is still not the end, I promise. Uh, we're going to be skipping forward in the credits. I want to thank the entire, like, community for the Tome, uh, for the Tome community, um, the creators of the game, uh, just everybody is so nice. You can, you can join the, the speedrunning community, or you can join the, um, you can join the, uh, the regular Tome Discord page, which... And both of them are the uh, the devs, the creators that are so supportive of the speedrunning community. Um, if you're interested in this, just go to one of the discords. Everybody is willing to help you out because this is such a fun game to, to learn and watch. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and talk to Granny. She's going to give us her final um, stamp after we show her the picture of Poem. And I will tell you when time it's coming up very shortly here. And time. So yeah, um, that was poem 100%. We're going to double check after uh, the the end. We're going to go back into here and look to make sure that we uh, 
have 36 out of 37 achievements as i told you before of wet sock theory it will not give it will not give me the other uh the 37th achievement on the councils so um yeah let's look to see and make sure Thirty-six to thirty-seven. There we go. Thank you so much, Steve. That was such a joy to watch. That was awesome. Did we hit the uh, the Basto percent? It does not appear so. That's perfectly fine. If you want to experience Basto, Basto Island is so much fun. It's like it was a completely free. A DLC that was added on because, like I said, they didn't realize that this game was going to succeed as much as it did. So they gave us a free DLC, and there's a whole speed run on the Basto percent. So if you're interested in that, look that up. Thank you so much. And uh, where can we find you? Um, I'm on Steve TV online on on twitch youtube um instagram uh and that's about it <laughs> but yeah you can find me on those i haven't been, i've been really busy with work recently i haven't been able to stream quite a bit so um but you can still i would love to like follow or i'm i'll also on friends streams all the time so all right thank you so much steve that was a fantastic run Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Just want to ask for one more round of applause for Steve TV Online for that awesome 100% run of Toem. That was really, really great to watch. We got a couple more awesome runs coming up for you guys with Love 1 Plus 2 Plus 3 Remastered on Deck by Hep and Wana, followed by Rack and Slay All Challenges by Satan herself, and then closing out the night with Pizza Tower Noise 100%. So we got a lot of cool stuff heading your way. Hang tight, and we'll be back real soon. And just as a bit of an update for you guys, we still have our bid war open for the Love 3 Trace Flag colors. We still have the Trans Pride Flag beating out the Rainbow Pride Flag by about $6. And that bid war will conclude at the beginning of this next upcoming run, the one that's on deck. So if you want to get your voice heard through this bid war, make sure to make your donation ASAP by typing exclamation point donate in the chat.